Hello there, and welcome to the series Study Audio Signal Processing and Audio Technology Without Paying Tuition Fees in Germany and in English Language. My name is Renato, I'm a PhD candidate at Umenau University of Technology, and on this series I'll talk about the master's degree in media technology with a specialization in audio signal processing and audio technology. So during this series, I will cover the content of the program, what subjects you are going to study, some expenses you may uh, encounter, the cost of living, accommodation, the university, the city of Ilmenau, the campus, we'll talk about different activities. So I will cover basically the course and give you information how you can study audio signal processing and audio technology without spending a lot of money and uh, without paying tuition fees and having a, an experience in a German university. So let's get started. I will start this series with an um, overview, an introduction, and I'm here at the DAAD, the German Academic Exchange Service, and here you find information. So if you're interested in studying in Germany, you'll find a lot of information here about scholarships, about all the programs uh, offered, which programs are completely in German language, which courses are offered also in English language, the costs and a lot of information not only for bachelor's degree, master's degree, but also for PhD and research opportunities. I'll go here first at the international programs and now I will search here media technology. So I found here media technology master of science program. So let's search and here it is the media technology master of science program from Technische Universität Ilmenau. So the Humanal University of Technology. So we have tuition fees per semester, none. Language in English, you can begin. So here in Germany, usually the semester in the university can start or in the winter semester or in the summer semester. So it's divided by winter semester and summer semester with the summer holidays in between. There is a duration of three semesters. So let's have more information about this program. So it's a Master of Science and um, it's good to point out that the Humanal University of Technology, it is a proper university. So here in the um, educa German educational system, we also have the um, Fachhochschule, which are the um, University of Applied Sciences. So there's a, a difference between the University of Applied Sciences and a an university. And Ilmenau is a an university and it's a technical university. So usually a Fachhochschule, a University of Applied Sciences, they cannot offer PhD programs. But on the other hand, a university can offer PhD programs and Ilmenau University of Technology offers PhD programs also in different areas. I am doing in audio signal processing and music information retrieval. So it's a mixed um, interdisciplinary area and I'll, I'll cover that later on. So the teaching language of this masters is actually it's half in German and half in English but that doesn't mean that the half uh, you, you must take the German lectures. What happens is that there are a lot of optional courses, optional mini specializations and you can do the complete audio signal processing and audio technology parts completely in English. So there are some subjects that are offered only in German, mostly if you are interested in other subjects that are not related to audio, then you may encounter some courses that are given only in German, but if you stick with the audio signal processing and audio technology, then you can do uh, the whole course in English. So here is what you're saying. Courses are held in English 50% and German 50% and you can choose to write your master thesis in German or in English and the program can be studied completely in English. As I mentioned before, some specializations are not offered in English but some specializations are and the audio signal processing 
audio technology part is offered in English. So the program duration is three semesters, I already mentioned that, you can start in winter or in the summer semester, and the semester starts in October or in April. As I mentioned before, there are no tuition fees per semester, so the cost is virtually zero. You don't pay for your studies. What you pay is a contribution fee that goes to the Students' Association, and this contribution fee includes also a train ticket, it's called the semester ticket, where students can use the local train system with this semester pass, the semester ticket. It also covers um, help for students in um, difficult financial situations, all the services offered by the um, Students' Association. It also helps for uh, cheap meals at the university Mensa, which is the canteen or the place where you can have your meals and some other um, things. So, in fact, there is this contribution fee, which in this semester was 130 euros per semester. So, in a year, you would spend 260 euros, and this is the cost for a study in, Germ in a German university with high quality. Uh, structure, high quality courses, high quality professors, and this is not a combined master's degree and PhD program, so you, after you finish the master's, you can apply for a PhD, and here is a short description, so the media technology master's covers media technology, signal processing and transmission, computer science, graphics, light, and optics and you can have priorities inside this um, like this mini specialization so you have audio signal processing and audio systems advanced psychoacoustics video coding communication networks multi-rate signal processing practical informatics game development so of course as I mentioned before I am here talking about the audio part, so the audio signal processing, psychoacoustics, audio coding, signal processing, but you also have the option to take other disciplines and go through other mini specialization of priorities, as they're calling here, just have in mind that some disciplines are offered only in German. And the students can combine these modules according to their interests and goals and typical module combinations for job possibilities in research, development and management include the audio engineering part, which I will focus here, but you will also have the video engineer using interface, multimedia, television studio, automotive applications, virtual reality, so you can combine as you wish. Moving on here to the course details, so it's an interdisciplinary course, there are different modules, so you have also uh, one media project that will prepare you for your master thesis, and a master thesis is an independent work on a research project. So after you graduate from this master's degree course, you will get a diploma supplement, and this diploma supplement includes all information in English language also, so it's a fully according to the Bologna process in a way that um, it should be recognized in the complete European Union. Moving on, as I mentioned before, there are no tuition fees per semester, but there is this semester contribution. So for the first semester, it is at 150 euros. I didn't know about that. Uh, but for the second semester and the third semester, should be 134 euros, more or less. And it include a public transportation ticket that I mentioned before. Have in mind also that these values, they change every semester, so they tend to go up. When I started here, it's in my PhD, I was paying 90 something euros. Some years later, it's already on 130 euros. But um, if you consider the cost of studies in other countries in Europe for high-quality studies, 
we are still very very let's consider it almost free so the cost of living is approximately 860 euros per month including apartment so the um, UNL University of Technology is a campus-based university so we have here most of the buildings in the campus and we also have students accommodation so you can have your own room in shared apartments there are a few uh, flats available there are different uh, prices i will cover this in a complete tutorial uh, i will talk about accommodation i for example i don't live in the um, accommodation from the uh, students association i live on a private association uh, it's on campus and I pay 270 euros per month for a studio apartment with my own kitchen, my own bathroom, and one room, all furnished. So you have different opportunities, and of course you can also rent uh, private um, apartments uh, in town. There are many different um, opportunities. For this course, there are no funding opportunities within the university so the university itself doesn't offer any scholarships or funding for this course let's move to requirements so the academic admission requir requirements are a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering computer science or computer engineering of at least six semesters so 180 credit points in the european system from a university and basic knowledge of media technology, audio or video, is very helpful for a successful start to your studies. But of course, this is not mandatory. But you need to have a degree in electrical engineering, electronics engineering, computer science, or related fields, or media technology. Uh, the, Uni the Humanal University of Technology also offer a bachelor's degree in media technology with also some audio priorities. But unfortunately, it's only offered in German. But if you speak a good German up to a university level, you can also study the bachelor's degree if you're not at the master's position at the moment. You also need to provide proof of your English skills. And that is a TOEFL 550 points if it's paper-based, 213 if it's computer-based or 79 if it's internet-based or um, ELTS with a grade 6.5 the Cambridge uh, CAE, the Certificate in Advanced English or some equivalent and here we have an application website where you can apply and make your online application but I will go through this in another tutorial moving to services so there is a possibility of finding part-time employment germany has its rules uh, if you're a student you can work certain hours per week while you're studying so don't expect that your job will fully cover the 860 euros that you need to to live and in fact if you need a visa you will in fact have to prove that you have enough money to live in germany without any support from the government or you need to show that you have your financial situation enough to cover your living expenses and this is part of the visa process but there are some um, jobs available I would say that it's not very easy to find uh, jobs in local business especially if you don't have a good German language but you can also find some opportunities inside the university so you can be a research assistant assistant you can work on some research projects offered by the university this is what we call here the heavy so there are many heavy positions but of course, it's not uh, very easy to get. A lot of people, uh, they want to get such positions, but it's a possibility. Talking about the accommodation, so as I mentioned, uh, the Wimenau is a campus university. So most of the academic buildings and dormitories are located 
at the Erwin Bear Campus. The dormitory rent is approximately from 162 to 295 euros per bed per month and it depends on the type of apartment and how well it is furnished, as I mentioned before. Finally, about the university, they explain here that the Umino is a state-founded higher education establishment with approximately 5,500 students. The university does not charge any tuition fees and it upholds high standards both in terms of academic content and the facilities offered to students. So Ilmenau is a very small village, in, more or less in the center of Germany. So we are here, so we are more or less uh, three hours by train to Berlin, three hours by train to Frankfurt, three hours by train to Munich, some uh, one hour by train to Erfurt, which is the capital of the Thuringen, where Ilmenau is located. It's approximately two hours to Leipzig. Here we have the border with um, Czech Republic. Here is the border with Poland. It's um, in close proximity also to Nuremberg with uh, some good train connections. Actually, from Ilmenau, there is only one train connection that brings you from Ilmenau to Erfurt. It takes approximately one hour and the trains are in a frequency of um, every one hour. And in Erfurt there you have very good connections with local trains and also with fast trains to Berlin, to Frankfurt, to Cologne, to Munich. It's uh, well served by trains Erfurt. This is just an overview and I will go into the details of the Media Technology Master of Science program, the audio, the subjects. Then I'll talk more about the accommodation. I'll talk more about the university activities, the application process, go in depth in the requirements. And I see you next time.